Now, I'm not pretty and I'm not cool, but I'm fat and I'm ugly and I'm proud, so F you. <laughs> hey, you gotta own it. You know what I mean? Whatever you are, you own it. It doesn't matter. Hello there, maggots. It's Lauren here. Happy Maggot Monday. Welcome back for more Slipknot. It's our final week in Iowa. Sorry to have to tell you that. Unless there are some bonus songs that I'm not aware of, I'm pretty sure this is the final week for Iowa. It's been... Um, quite a journey in Iowa. I, I am a little sad to say goodbye to Iowa, but I've really grown to like this album compared to where I started with it. I mean, it's just been like, phew. last week I was feeling like I was punched in the face by life. This week I feel like I'm being punished for feeling sorry for myself last week because this week is like, if you thought that was important to you, just you wait. Life is happening. I'll just put it that way. I don't want to get too personal on here because th you're, you're not here for that. You're here to hear some Slipknot, you know what I mean? I, I'm sure some of you care, but I'm just going to keep it. Cheers. I really love this picture. I think it's new to me. The cameraman was like, okay, everybody just strike a pose. Just do whatever you want to do. And um, Pinhead was like, I'm just going to look at the camera. I'm going to do the fist. I'm just going to stare. That's what I do. Everyone else is kind of like, you know, Corey's doing some um, deep thinking. Joey also. They're all kind of like doing something, you know? But Pinhead's just like, just take the picture. <laughs> oh my god, I love Pinhead. All right, sorry, I'm back. Mocha needed something. You didn't even know I left, but I'm back. I'd like to know everyone's favorite track from Iowa, and I'd like you to guess what my favorite track from Iowa is. You should know. All right, I am hated. Now let's see what song we will be doing today. The final track from Iowa. That was a stupid joke. They all want us my family. I don't know what they tell you. You walk with them when all the same thing again. I can't wait for the love of a mom. I can't stay because I can't be stopped. These motherfuckers are lying. Crosses into your arms. I am the same old process. Let me tell you it's gonna be. I'm gonna kill everyone who stops up after the night. Get up to the same old fucking scale. So all the shit I did from. Everybody wants to be so hard. All you people are some of these fuck guns. They all lost their own. Ten. What is this? I'm going to read over these lyrics here because Corey was just laying it down. This is like spit it out Iowa edition. Are you real or a second rate sports card? That's fantastic. It doesn't change the fact that you suck. <laughs> I'm going to start this one over because that was just so good. It's only been 30 seconds, but I'm going to start it over. Should we just do it? Let's just do it all together. So let's hear the first 30 seconds again, shall we? They all want us my enemy. I don't know what they tell you. You walk with them when all the same thing again. I can't wait for the love of a mom. I can't stay because I can't be stopped. These motherfuckers are lying. Crosses into your arms. I am the same old process. Let me tell you it's going to be. I'm going to kill everyone who steps up after the night. All right, I'm trying to think here. It's got, it's like it's so many groups, but I can't even, you know, like when, when you have sort of a rapping kind of verse and then the other person just sort of chimes in with like a word every now and then. Oh my God, who does that? All I can think of is Linkin Park. Maybe Linkin Park does this. I mean, it was Corey, I'm pretty sure, doing the, the word. I'm probably not making any sense at all. This is one of the more unique songs on the album, I would say. And not just because of the sort of rapping thing going on. I just saw a line coming up. Oh my God. I think what I love most about this song is that even though it's the last song that I'm hearing from the album, I would definitely not put this at the bottom of the album as far as the songs that I like the most. You know, I only have a few tracks left and they're still so good. I love that. I don't know if that will be true from here on out, but for this week, it's true. So let me go back some. Fuck you, I'm standing 
pretty and I'm not cool but I'm fat and I'm ugly and I'm proud so F you <laughs> hey you gotta own it you know what I mean whatever you are you own it it doesn't matter all the pauses but there is a video i don't think it's iowa though i think it's self-titled someone isolated all the f words in self-titled i don't know why you would do that but we have like a mini grammar lesson in this slipknot song showing us um all of the forms of to be the verb to be so i am hated you are hated we are hated he is hated she is hated it is hated i don't know why they didn't include he she it is hated. See, you can learn from Slipknot. So you young people tell your parents, hey, Corey Taylor is teaching me subject verb agreement using the forms of to be. I am, you are, he, she, it is. Let's finish this. There you go. And with that, we are done Iowa. I can't believe it. I do have a bit of a secret that I'm not ready to disclose. Just to hint that uh, we will be spending some more time in Iowa, just in a different way. I'll just put it that way. First impression, I do like this one. It, it's not quite as scary. I hate to just say scary, but it's not quite as intense. Maybe it's a better word. Than some of the other ones. It's all part of the Slipknot journey and my uh, journey to Magadum. The transformation is complete, I think. Once you have been exposed to Iowa, everything else just feels so tame by comparison. So uh, let me listen to it again and I will be right back. Hello again. So this is definitely one of my favorites on the album. I just want to say about Iowa in general that um, this album has grown on me in ways that I never would have predicted. It took me a few tracks to understand the love for this album, but now that I've heard the whole thing, although out of order, I totally understand why this album in this era is held in such high regard, high esteem. I feel like it was the pinnacle of their anger. It was a good look for them. Not my favorite look, but I get it. I feel like I have a better understanding now of why Iowa is such a big deal. I get it. Not to the extent that you get it, but I, I see where you're coming from. Hope you enjoyed our time together in Iowa. It's been fun. We've had some road trips, some memorable ones. Thanks so much for watching and being awesome. Mega Maggots, you rock. And everyone else, you rock too. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next week for... Uh, oh, what are we doing next week? Volume 3. I'll figure it out. The Slipknot will continue. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you for another one. Hello there, maggots. Welcome back for more Slipknot. What?
And I do know my headphones are going to die soon, so that's always good. Just to add to the drama. You know. I thought that was going to explode. That would just be the day I'm having. What an interesting song this is. I am, you are, we are, he is, she is, it is. Pumpkin update is, uh, things are going very slowly. The uh, hand pollination is, is really hit or miss. I don't know what's going on, but I've learned my lesson to not plant pumpkins so late in the season because this is what happens. So usually this would be the time of year where I'm cutting the pumpkins off the vine, but this year I'm still trying to get one to grow. So that's how late I am with this. Just a little pumpkin update today. We have things to do. Get off me, Craig!